the fourth 90 plus degree day in North Jersey involves water. We need to get out. It's too hot inside and it's too hot outside. To cool off. It's, it's yeah, it's, it's really cool. I joined eight year old William Mitchell in my bare feet and it felt great and was badly needed. Just came back from Florida. It was really hot there. Today, how do we compare to Florida? The same actually. Yeah, very, very hot and humid. She's talking about South Florida, which today wasn't as hot as North Jersey, which has had a heat advisory in some areas since the weekend. It's issued when heat indices are expected to reach at least 100 degrees for at least two hours, or the combination of hot temperatures and high humidity will create a situation in which heat-related illnesses are possible according to the National Weather Service. To put it another way, it's deadly. <laughs> Clarissa Bravo says that in the summer like swelter, she's relieved her son Jacob is doing school remotely and they don't have to deal with one more thing. School officials are empowered to relax masking among students and staff in their buildings. Governor Phil Murphy declared that individual school districts can decide if students have to wear masks indoors in the heat. The Cordero School in Jersey City has its windows open and a mask requirement in place. And a dad at Newark's McKinley Elementary described its mask requirement this way. You should always do whatever it takes to keep them safe. Um, the heat is not going to kill them. The virus might. And as the heat and humidity built into the afternoon, intense thunderstorms built up, bringing so much rain that the heat advisory got replaced with a flash flood warning. Yes, we said that today involved a lot of water, right? And in this case, it's this precipitation that we're dealing with. I can tell you folks here are saying they're just looking forward to that cool down that should be coming up later in the week and coming up later in the newscast, more with Mr. G about those lowering temperatures. They couldn't come soon enough. Reporting live from Newark downtown, I'm James Ford, Pix 11 News.